The Old Testament is so boring. But I love the book of Revelation. Okay, Revelation 19.11. And I saw heaven open. Behold, a white horse. He that sat upon him was called Faithful, capital F, and True, capital T. And in righteousness he does judge and make war. Uh-oh. Uh oh I guess that offends the Jehovah Witness. His eyes were as a flame of fire, angry. And his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God, John chapter 1. That's Jesus. And the armies which were in heaven followed him on horse, white horses, clothed with fi white, yeah, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. I was not clothed with a sharp sword, and with it he should smite the nation. He shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treads the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of the Almighty God. And his vesture, and on his thigh, a name written, King of King and Lord of Lords. We know that's Jesus. But look at verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. And we'll pick up right where we left off. I love Revelation, but I don't love the Old Testament. Here we go. Blow ye trumpet in Zion. That's Zion. Instead of S-C-I-O-N. The Z-I-O-N pictures the coming of Jesus Christ. Jerusalem. And sound alarm in my holy mountain, Jerusalem. Let all the mountains of the land tremble. And the deity of the Lord cometh, that's what we just read, Revelation, for his nigh a hand. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds, thick darkness, as the morning spreads upon the mountains. Great people are strong there, it has not been ever like. Ye shall there be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, now, this, this people never liked them. And before them, there's a fire. And behind them, a fire burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them. And behind them, desolated wilderness. So up ahead, good, glorious land. Behind them, misery. Nothing. Yea, nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. As horsemen, so shall they run. That's us. That's the army behind Jesus Christ that we just read in Revelation 19. This is the church. This are the Christians. On horses. I hope you're ready to saddle up and get on a horse. So shall they run. Like the noise of chariots. Now we don't have chariots. We have horses. On the tops of the mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devours the stubble. That's that flame of fire is coming out of the mouth of Jesus. As strong people sit in battle array. Armor gleaming. Before their face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness, death, burning. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. Run yourself to Jericho. The wall. Joshua going into the promised land. He tells those spies, go into Rahab's house, get all that's in the house or family. The window that has the red scarlet thread. 
and they shall march every one on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. So here's an army of Christians. The bride of Jesus Christ. We are in a military array. And nothing is going to break our ranks. If it's in our way, we're just going to go up and over it. In a classified way. In a proper stance. An orderly fashion. If there's a wall, we're all going to go up and over that wall with no problem. If there's dead bodies, we're just going to march over those dead bodies. We're still going to keep our ranks on our horses. Neither shall one thrust another. We're not going to backstab each other no more. You know, in my back and in my butt, there are many wounds from fellow Christians. And we go into the battle, they take their sword, they take their gun, they take whatever they got, their dart, and they thrust it into me. Said the army. You attack Easter. <laughs> you attack Chris Christmas. <laughs> and they stab me. They, you, you attack my Bible and they stab me. We ain't going to backstab now, the judgment seat of Christ has been over. We mount up, coming back to the second advent of Jesus Christ. We're going to get Israel in that city, Revelation 12. That is prepared for a place for the Jews, a protection from the Antichrist. Jesus gets on his horse. He's got his crown. We get on our horses. We got our crowns. I don't know what happens to the Christians that don't get an inheritance. I don't know what happens to the Christians that don't get crowned. Walk everyone in his path. We're not going to step in anybody else's path. That's our route. That's our goal. That's where we belong. Finally, doing what's right. Walking what's right. No obstacles in our way. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. When we come back in that battle, there are going to be the people of the earth. They're going to fight us. They're going to stab us. They're going to shoot their miserly weapons and they're going to hit us. Ain't going to have no problem. It won't wound us. We'll be like the superheroes of the comic book. You shoot Superman and it bounces off. You shoot me in the, in the second advent, it bounces off. That's why everybody likes the, the superheroes. Because while they follow the devil and reject Jesus, they will never be like the superheroes. Now, I don't believe the angels have wings. I, when you see in Revelation, and the angel flew. I, I mean, you can have a food fight, and there goes a macaroni, it flew across the sky. It didn't grow wings. There goes an angel cake flying across the road. It didn't have wings. Wow, did you see that car fly down the road? That didn't have wings. One day I believe in, in New I believe I'll be able to fly. If not, I will be able to go from one place to another place without any of the process of time. That, that's the powers of the superhero comics that the lost man won't get. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. Jerusalem still has a wall. And by now the temple's been built and all that. 
They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter, now watch this, in at the windows like a thief. I remember the story of Joshua, there was a window. And they took a family out. Meanwhile, we don't break our ranks. That's, that's a miracle right there. How do you got an army? We're scattered upon mount, I mean, uh, walls and, and windows and, and houses and city, but we don't break rank. We're still marching on. Marching on, marching on. Those hymns ain't sang in the churches today. Oh, you got the boogie woogie jazzy grassy grass that make me make me feel good, make me feel like dancing. Ah make me feel like dancing. Ah The earth shall quake before them. That's a powerful army. Now remember, while we're while this is talking about us, Jesus Christ is up ahead of, and the enemies of Jesus are being destroyed. What do you do with the Jehovah Witness? Oh, we don't believe in battles. We don't believe in war. Man, we're an army. It says the heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark. Now you find that at the end of the plagues. That's what happens at the end of the seventh year of the tribulation period. The sun goes dark. The moon doesn't shine no more. And then that light comes from heaven. And behind that light is an army. I'll be there. When the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Now, for that woman, her saints were the northern army to free her from the southern states. Because my eyes have seen the coming of the glory of the... You are a liar. Jesus Christ hasn't come yet. Your glory was... The blue? Well, I don't know who to know. I don't care. Now, you know, we everything southern, we got to get rid of. We got to get Lee's statues out of the way. We got... There's a better commander-in-chief coming. The stars shall withdraw their shining. That's because Revelation chapter 2, they're, they're falling. I mean, Revelation chapter 12. What, what, what's that place in Judges where the stars fought their courses against Caesarea? Star Wars! That's child's play. Because you know what happens in this battle? The Antichrist and the false prophet are taken. And the angels are thrown into the lake of fire to burn forever. Satan is bound for a thousand years. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. Revelation 19, there he is. For his camp is very great. There's a lot of Christians. For he is strong and executed what? I hope your Bible has word. 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 Joel chapter 2, Revelation 19, John chapter 1, and 1 John 5. I know your other Bibles, 1 John 5, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. I know your Bible removes that. If it's not King James. His name is the Word of God. Your Bible, uh, who's that? Uh, the son of the morning, Isaiah 14, is given to the Lucifer, but that title in the book of Revelation is given to Jesus Christ.
For today the Lord's second advent is great and very terrible. And that means that doesn't mean is rot. That means it inspires terror. Those people who are the enemies of God, the goats are going. Oh my God! Yeah, that's me. The Bible says they're going to take their idols and their images. They're going to cast them to the mold, to the bats, to the cave, and fall on those rocks. Keep us from that, from the Son of Man. You know, Revelation said nineteen. No man knows his name, but when Jesus Christ, oh, you're going to know who he is. Now, who can abide it? The nation of Israel. And the sheep nations. Book of Matthew. Scripture with scripture. So when the judgment's all over, there's Jesus. There's his church, the Christians. There's Israel. There's the nations that help Israel. There's 144,000 they are not Jehovah Witnesses. Here comes David. Here comes Solomon. Here comes Moses and Elijah again. Peter, James, and John, and Paul, they're all there already. They're like Moody and all of them. Peter is Ruffin. Samuel. Leah, Rachel, Sarah, Abraham. Hannah. Here they all are. Rahab. The nations again that, that helped the Jews in the tribulation period. Who didn't receive the mark. That's even worse. I mean, that's even harder to live. How can you help people of God when you can't even get help yourself because there's no buying and selling? But they do. They risk their lives for the Jews. Isn't that what Rahab did? Wasn't she a Gentile? You run Revelation 19 and back it up with Joel chapter 2. Here comes Jesus. Here comes the church. Now let me just ask you a very simple question. Baptist. I'm not talking to Presbyterian. I'm not talking to Catholics. I'm not talking to Charismatic. I'm not talking to Presbyterian. I'm not talking to the Church of Christ. I'm not talking to the Church of God. I'm not talking to the Church of England. I'm not talking to Catholics. I'm not talking to atheists. Baptists. Bible Baptists. All Baptists and Bible Baptists. Southern Baptists. When was the last time you read the book of Joel? Are your fingerprints, is your DNA found in the book of Joel? Could you find the book of Joel? Has your book of Joel ever seen light? Has your pastor, your Sunday school teacher, ever opened passages in the book of Joel? We're going to talk about the, the, the return of Jesus Christ. We're going to talk about the book of Revelation. And how often did you go to the book of Joel? Now we're talking about a book that's written to Judah for the judgment of Judah upon their sins and look what we got. Christians, the church. 